Hi everyone, this is Michelle Gramolia and today is Friday, December 17th, 2021. Uh, I wanted to do a broadcast today because I didn't on Tuesday and uh, there's been some information that has come out this week that has me a bit concerned. So I thought I would just spend just a few minutes today to address um, some of the news that we have all been hearing. Uh, this will be re-aired at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. today. And as well, uh, I will circulate this on our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the YouTube link on my uh, email listserv. So the purpose of me wanting to speak to all of you today is because uh, there's no doubt uh, right now that the number of COVID cases is simply exploding. Um, we are hearing... Uh, you know, duplication, triplication of cases in uh, a pandemic breaking uh, rate of transmission at this point and positive testing. So on one hand, you know, certainly that's very concerning um, that, you know, I had seen a statistic at one point earlier in the week that the cases in New York City doubled in three days uh, within the last few days. Um, obviously that's very concerning. The number of positive cases is skyrocketing everywhere. I know in uh, the county, the state, the school district, and just about everywhere you go right now, you're hearing people with all kinds of symptoms of things, right? So stuffy nose, a cough, um, a little bit of a tickle, and those kinds of things. And I think that we are sort of at a, a point of reckoning um, in that, you know, it seems according to the science, and it seems according to what we are seeing, that while the cases are spreading extremely rapidly, the type of illness that's being experienced right now, uh, whether it be Omicron or Delta, uh, seems to be less uh, than it was in prior uh, variants. And though we can't say that that's 100% for sure, it also seems very, um, tied to the fact that many folks are vaccinated, many folks that are vaccinated are boosted and are experiencing less severe illness. So from a Woodland Pond perspective with all of this data and all of the concerns about COVID, obviously we have to stop and sort of make some decisions, right? So we very much do not want to shut the community down. Um, we don't want to stop our regular activities. We don't want to restrict uh, residents and staff from being able to do the things that everyone is always looking forward to here on campus. Um, at the same time, obviously, we have a very concerning uptick in cases. So what I want to convey today, I think more than anything, is it would be prudent at this point in time for everyone to assume that there is widespread COVID out in the public on this campus, although we don't have any uh, new confirmed tests at all. Um, it, it's, it's safe to assume that COVID is amongst us or among us. And in that thinking, knowing that we are all vaccinated and knowing that most of us have had a booster, what the next sort of phase of this over the next, you know, two weeks for sure, because we've got, you know, Christmas coming and then New Year's, but then really going into the next several weeks after that, the most important thing for everyone to do is to be extremely in tune to your body and to your signs and symptoms. If you feel that you potentially may have contracted COVID, uh, if you're concerned about your signs and symptoms, you should stay in. You should stay put uh, in your apartment or cottage home. You should notify your primary care physician uh, and uh, inquire as to their instructions. You should notify us. So if it's during a normal business hour, contact Mary Jo. Um, or contact the concierge or contact a nurse if you live in the health center. Um, everyone really just has to be paying attention to how you're feeling. And we also have tons of respiratory illness going around. The flu is uh, upon us as well. 
And so there's, there's simply illness sort of all around us. And right now, again, we're very committed to not shutting things down. But in order to say that we are okay with that, we really need to implore everyone to be avoiding unnecessary up close contact with anyone that's unmasked, particularly in the public. Um, you know, there's, there's a greater risk that in the public, you will be around people that are not vaccinated and therefore potentially greater transmitters of the virus. Um, although, you know, certainly vaccinated people can also transmit everyone should be masked at all times when you go in public at this point. Um, you should be avoiding unnecessary trips into the public. There is no reason at this point in time that you need to do a routine, um, you know, visit to, you know, your, your doctors, if you've been there recently and everything is in good shape. Um, it's a good time to hold off because in doctor's offices right now, there are a lot of sick people and in urgent care centers and in emergency rooms, there are a lot of sick people. So we really need to consider, do I really need to go to this doctor's appointment right now? Um, if you have something that's medically necessary or clinically urgent, obviously you need to go, but you need to be thinking about the fact that there are sick people in all of these settings at this point in time. So it's definitely not worth just having a routine annual exam at this point in time because you haven't had one in a year um, when you know that going into the waiting room, you're going to be confronted with people that are sick. Um, you know, thinking about holiday plans, you know, right now we are not modifying anything on campus. We are continuing to require that anyone that is uh, planning to eat in our dining room for Christmas or during this upcoming week, uh, any guests must be vaccinated and they will be screened uh, at the concierge. We are not modifying that at this time. However, I have asked the kitchen to prepare for a plan B in case we do have to close the dining room for Christmas um, to come up with a, a menu that will translate nicely into a delivered meal. Um, we won't know that until next week but we need to be prepared. As far as your own plans for Christmas um, and, and going into the Christmas holidays, I think that you should assume that if you are visiting with family or friends off campus or on campus even, that even though you may be visiting with people that are strictly vaccinated and, and boosted and so forth, there's a good possibility that many of us may have picked up COVID and are carrying it, may not be super symptomatic. Um, so just think about that. You know, if it's the difference between going to your child's home and sitting right next to them uh, without a mask on or sitting, you know, a, a good distance apart, sit a good distance apart. You know, we have to learn to live with this virus. And we know that it is up close personal contact with no masks um, for, you know, a, a, a longer period of time, more than a few minutes, but, you know, some say as many as 15 minutes. Um, so just avoid that. You can still go to their house, but sit a little bit further apart. You know, sit five or six feet instead of three feet away if you're concerned. Um, we've been hearing case after case where someone has been around someone that they thought was healthy, and then the next day they find out that that person tested positive. It's going to continue to happen. COVID is just everywhere now. So it's about making healthy choices and, and, and choosing you know, safe behaviors. I will continue to be in touch uh, if we do have to change any of our protocols, um, we are changing some of our safety protocols with staff. So, uh, you know, as you all know, of course, we are all vaccinated at this point and most of our staff are boosted. Um, and of course, everyone is masked on campus at this point, but we are going to be implementing the use of N95 masks, uh, effective beginning uh, with the next shifts in the health center. Uh, the health center is where we have the greatest exposure, uh, the greatest concerning exposure between staff and residents. So we are going to be implementing that effective immediately and we are going to revisit that on January 3rd. So kind of get through the holidays. Uh, all of our health center staff currently has to wear uh, eye protection and goggles, which is another high area of transmission and that's been going on for some time. And all of these again are preventative measures. Um, we don't have any new cases. We don't have anything to report in that regard, but we're trying to be prepared. Uh, we are also working with the Ulster County Health Department to be sure that we are as prepared as possible. But um, 
you know, I think it's just a reckoning that, or and a recognize recogni recognition that, you know, this virus is here. Cases are up. Um, what we want to try to do is avoid a spread if we do have cases or when we do have cases, but most importantly, to avoid serious illness. So this is where I implore all of you to be paying closest attention to your signs and symptoms, particularly respiratory illness. Um, if you have trouble breathing, if you're having trouble or you feel pressure on your chest, uh, if you feel like you're a little bit foggy, that could be a sign that you're not getting enough oxygen. So all of these things are things that you should be paying attention to and reporting um, to your primary care physician and to us uh, so that we can make sure that if you do contract COVID, um, that you don't face serious illness. So I will be in the office this afternoon, um, although I do have a number of meetings. Um, if you have any questions for me or uh, any, any clarification that you need, go ahead and contact me at my desk or, um, excuse me, or give me an email and I will help you with whatever I can. I will also be available through the weekend to answer questions on email. And, um, you know, I, I just hope everyone can take this message and, and, and think about it a bit. Um, but again, we're really trying to, to just figure out ways to continue to live with this virus. Um, without sort of allowing it to sort of hold us hostage, but also to do so carefully. So um, I hope that you all uh, enjoy the weekend. And if I don't see you between now and then, I will check back in with you uh, Monday in the office and Tuesday on my update. Thank you.